WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 1 p.m. update. And currently, of all the U.S. indices trading to the downside, the Dow's off 208 points, six tenths of a percent. S&P eight tenths or 32 points. Nasdaq 144 points, a little over one percent. The Russell down one and six tenths. That's 32 points. One and seven tenths for the S and uh, for the Sox. Semiconductor index there it's off 58 points. The trendies are flat. You got gold trading out at 1965. That's up 29 bucks. Silver is having a good move up over two percent or 53 cents 2574 is a print there lights we crewed up at about a buck nearly a buck 12 up about four dollars and change natural gas up 20 cents 492 is its print the 30-year treasury up over two points two points and nine thirty seconds 159.02 is the print there so let's begin by taking a look at the equity index ETFs out here, have held up really pretty well. The only one that's uh, struggling a little bit is the Qs. Now, what I mean by that is you take a look at the SPIs. They pulled back into the September, uh, February 24th swing point, the top of which is 428.76. We've gotten down to that level, and so far that's rejected it. Now, volume today is 60 million shares. We're talking 213 million shares on February 24th. There's no way we're going to see that kind of volume. So you potentially are going to have a rejection of that swing point on light price. Now, all that suggests is getting back to yesterday's highs. So just this choppy market. The queues in order to generate that same message, we need to close above 341.04. The Dow Diamonds have gotten down and tested that 332.74 level. Volume today, 3.2 million versus the 14 million on the 24th. In the case of Russell 2000, the same uh, game plan. There was 52 million shares on February 24th. So far, you're only at 18. So, again, it's going to test that swing point. The question is, is it going to reject it? And rejection would be a close above 198.48. If we just take a look at the indices out here, you'll see a number of these that have rejections of that swing points. The ones that do not are the NDX 100, the semiconductor index. So you'd want to be paying attention to those. You need a close above 3304.17 in the semis and 1399.10 in the NDX 100. Uh, the NASDAQ composite would need to close above 13,486. So those would be the numbers that you're watching. All Otherwise, all these other indices have tested and so far rejected the top of that uh, swing point. A real quick peek at the uh, typical nine panel market update chart out here. What do we have? Well, I tell you what we have. You know, we'll go take a look at the event. gold uh, trading higher in all major currencies. So trying to close above 2559, that would be a real breakout. That's the top of this weekly profile. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. We're going to start through Friday. Have a fantastic one, and thanks so much for joining us.